Yo, what's up, K Drama fans? Yeah, we see you. We see you guys. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Today we are going to Korean drama Korean K drama characters that deserve better. Someone in the comments section suggested this one, and yeah, we're doing it. So keep on suggesting for us. Yes, sir, let's, uh, let's go. go. Undeniable that K dramas do a great job at character building, <laughs> leading viewers to get attached to the characters on the screen. As Korean drama, my best part of K drama is like when the pompous like reach, Gino. Hmm. That pompous, rich, you know, character in the beginning. Yeah. They come down and fall in love. I love it. We have been through it all. The uneasiness, grief, and tears over watching lovely hey! characters getting disappointed Point or even blank. tragic fates. Some characters just deserve way better. And this video is going to list some prime examples. One example I know is Squid Game. The sec that lady that died as second, she deserved so much better. Yeah. I, I was out there. Spoiler alert, don't worry. Polly. Number one, Zhang Hanso. Oh, this no. guy looks good. No, no, Vincent. So people actually rate this movie, this uh, drama. Vincenzo. Let's first take a look at the plot. The drama revolves around Vincenzo, an Italian mafia who sets out to his motherland, Italian. Korea, to get a stash of gold hidden okay, there. Like, he's an Italian mafia boy from Korea. An Italian mafia who sets out to his motherland, Korea, to get a stash Ooh, Tesla. of okay. gold hidden there years before. Loyal to its dark comedy genre, the series is packed with humor, action, and awe-inspiring moments that keep the viewers on edge. Hey. While the audiences are equally charmed by Vincenzo's diverse cast, Wait, one character was he not the main actor? He is, but I don't know, maybe, maybe he didn't die. ...to stand out as the series approaches its end. His name is Zhang Hanso. He was first introduced as a villain in President of Evil Corporation Babel Group. However, it was later revealed that Hanso was a mere puppet under his older brother's control. Yee. He was physically and emotionally abused, to the point that he was desperate for self-validation and love. He had to be cruel for his own survival. And it was not until Hanso grew close to the male lead that he managed to break free. From a pretentious and dim-witted lackey, he evolved into a true hero who wants to do good. Over the course of the series, Zhang Hanso had managed to charm both the male lead and the audience with his selfless loyalty and cheerful personality. Unfortunately, such a great character just has to die in the end. When the leads are threatened by the main villain, Zhang han Suk, he uses his own body to shield them, ensuring that there's no bullet left in the gun. As the screen shows han Suk's final words, the audience is left with buckets of tears, especially when they realize that han Suk never gets to experience true happiness. Oh my god, I've not watched this thing, but bro, That's sad. my eyes are like, oh my god. Number two, So Dan and Gu Sung Jun, Crash Landing on You. Despite surpassing massive hits like Reply 1988 and Goblin, with record setting viewership ratings, uh, the ending of the guy from the from Sweden. crash landing on you was still regarded as controversial, according to netizens. Well, someone said this a, a better you ending. Was still regarded as controversial. Was crash landing was a better ending. According I mean, to netizens, that's movies, man. It was have to go the way it and unfair to the supporting couple. I can't see how both the main and second leads have a happy ending. Of So Dan and Gu Sung Jun. Uh -huh. So Dan in the series is the official fiancé of Colonel Ri Jung-kyuk. And although she strived for his heart, he never noticed her in return. Yeah. Meanwhile, Gu sung Jun is kind of a pitiful character with a miserable childhood, who fled to the UK after being deceived by the female lead's father. While sung Jun was not the traditional handsome man like the male lead, he still swayed hearts with his lively, cute, and somewhat yeah, angsty personality. From their rocky start, both Dan and sung Jun came a long way, their relationship maturing throughout the series. The two met at the rooftop of Pyongyang Hotel in North Korea and started out as strangers who exchanged advice about love and money. They started developing mutual feelings as the series progressed, and it was exciting to see them taking down each other's walls. But instead of a happy ending for this opposite attracted couple, the series finale shows Sung Joon sacrificing himself to save oh. handsome gangmen who wanted to kill him for his betrayal. So Dan ended up staying alone forever, uh. both before and after finding Sung Joon and was only able to confess his love to Sung Joon in his final moments. 
Needless to say, the screenwriter owes like Sodan and Gusum is, to... You're just, you're just punishing the people that are... You're <laughs> usually punishing the people that are watching it. ...a much better ending. Number three, Kim jung Hwan, Reply 1988. I was almost suggested this one. I saw something that replied in 1990, As fans of Korean dramas, you are probably already familiar with the netizen outcry after the end of TVN's <laughs> third installment of the Reply series, oh, Reply okay. 1988. Following the lives of families in a small neighborhood, the series provides viewers with neighborhood bonds, familial love, and tight knotted friendships. Uh -huh. At the same time, posing the question of who will be the future husband of the female lead, Duk Soon. At the time, a large number of fans were rooting for Duke Soon to get together with her childhood friend, Jung Kwan. But as the series ended, it was revealed that she had instead fallen for genius Go player Choi Take, leading to outrage. Jung Kwan was the fan favorite, and it was easy to see why. Despite Duke Soon constantly changing her crush, Jung Kwan was smitten with his silly and energetic neighbor from the first days. He was constantly pampering her with small and nice gestures. He's cute. Ah, girls do be like that, man. I swear like, that. bro. The fact that we thought of at the same time. <laughs> like, girls do be like that, man. Like, the one who shows them everything, nah, nah. No, 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 no. He clumsily expressed his love, and he was given a hefty amount of screen time. When Duke Soon started to return his feelings, we all thought that the couple was finally going to have a happy end. However, man proposes, but the screenwriter disposes. Yes. Yeah, as Jung Kwan discovered that Tech also loved Duke Soon, and withdrew for the sake of friendship. Many people were still in denial, anticipating a surprise revival of the Jung Kwan Duke Soon ship. However, the kiss between Tick and Duke Soon in episode 19 had sealed the deal, putting an end to all hopes. While it was partly due to Jung Kwan's hesitation that he didn't get the girl, many fans were still heartbroken as the character resigned to his fate. I mean, but I good news for the aching hearts that believe that yeah. Jung Kwan deserved better. The actors behind Jung Kwan and Duke Soon, aka Ru Jun Yol and Girls Day Sieri, are dating in real life. Oh, and whoa. the relationship is still going strong. Heart soothing. Okay, man lost in the movie, but one in real life. <laughs> okay. A small Number price four, to play. The entire we cast don't. of Moon Lovers. If in We're all of the aforementioned dramas, we only have a character or two with a ah, sad ending, is that here kind of I would cheap? like to call Moon Lovers South Korea's Les Miserables. Kind of because all of the characters yeah. in this series, from the villain to the main character, from the lead to the support roles, have very tragic endings. Ah! Yeah, that's true. Dead, you dead, 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 dead. Kilo Making dead. this one of the saddest and most heartbreaking dramas of all time. Moon Lovers is so adapted like, from the Chinese... Like, it's so realistic, everybody dies. Exactly. Oh, Instead of... Life. ...his novel, Boo Boo Jing Ki, where during a total solar eclipse, a 21st century woman named Go Ha Jin was sent back to the Goryeo dynasty. She wakes up in the body of Hei Su, cousin to the wife of the 8th prince Wang Wook, and slowly befriends all the royal princes of the Wang family, who were ruling the Goryeo nation at that time. Initially, she falls in love with the warm-hearted eighth prince, but later realizes her love for the fourth prince, Wang So. Played by Lee jung -ki. this male lead is a cold-hearted, fearsome, and dangerous man who hides his face behind a mask due to a scar which was considered a bad omen in the past. As she is from the future, Hei Su struggled as she knew that her royal friends would be forced to kill each other for the sake of the throne. Oh, and wow. indeed, by the end of the movie, almost everyone had died. Despite having overcome many difficulties, Hei Su and Wang So never ended up together because of their misunderstandings. While Hei Su eventually died and returned to her original body, Wang So lived a lonely life on the throne. Oh, wow. Come on, boy. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Fates also befall all the other princes. They either die or have tragic love stories. In particular, the beautiful love story between the 13th prince Wang Bega oh. and Princess Wu He ended with the princess's suicide as redemption for her family's cruelty. The naive and optimistic 10th prince and his lover were killed and could not hold hands one last time. My boy was dying here. We all know that this is a historical drama, and what was written can't be changed. But it did not stop us from bawling our eyes out when we witnessed their terrible fates. And what about you? 
Which K drama characters do you think deserved better? Well, Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Sometimes I, I, I wish I watched a lot of K dramas, man. I swear, 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 swear. What I think the sub better was um, the girl from Squid Game, and yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, Korean drama character that deserved better. Tell us what is you want to react to and yet to see. Peace.